Over the years, chief investigative reporter Eric Ross has exposed bad contractors who take your money and disappear. You may remember last year, Eric spoke with a Pueblo West couple left without a usable bathroom because the contractor they hired took their money and ran. Well, their story gained traction on social media, and tonight Eric has a positive update and a warning before you write any contractor a check. This is Michael Travis Huber, and we're only going to show you his face once because, quite frankly, this guy doesn't deserve a second of airtime. But we felt it's important you know who this guy is because he somehow passed Home Advisor's background check process, despite our investigation revealing he's a convicted felon and sex offender. Now that you've seen him, sayonara, dude. We do have a happy update to what started as a sad story. Debbie Hume and her husband lost thousands of dollars in a bathroom remodeling scam. Not only were they out the money, they had no way to fix their bathroom Huber destroyed. That was until a home renovation company and numerous contractors all came together to help this family out. We first met Debbie Hume last year under less than desirable circumstances. He left it all in pieces. The bathroom is still completely trash. Debbie found Michael Travis Huber through Home Advisor, a company at the center of multiple News 5 investigations into its background check screening processes or lack thereof for contractors. Debbie had no idea she was hiring a man with no contractor's license and multiple run-ins with the law. She sued Huber in court and won a $7,500 judgment which he has not paid all while her bathroom was left in disarray after Huber did the demolition and then disappeared. We often hear about contractors failing to do work they were paid to complete. Debbie refused to be a silent victim and spoke up to warn others in a previous News 5 Investigates report. After your story, um, he became invisible on Facebook. Um, and I think that's why we can't trace him anymore is because of the story you guys ran. Um, he's just hiding out somewhere. Her story was also posted on social media and caught the attention of Dave Horner, owner of Horner Homes. I reached out to her. I came out to look at the project. To be quite honest, the bathroom was beyond a shambles. The floor joists had been cut out. The structural components had been hacked to pieces. Uh, the wall coverings had been torn down. The uh, the flooring had been ripped up, the insulation was hanging everywhere. It looked like a bomb had gone off in the bathroom and it needed complete renovation from top to bottom to be usable at all. Dave assembled a team of people who volunteered their time and money to help finish the job Huber failed to complete. The granite was donated by Granite Accents of Colorado Springs. They provided it, cut it to size, and installed it for us. LJI Electric came in and redid all the electric for us and installed the bathroom fan as well. The flooring was donated by Pam Musso uh, here in Pueblo, Colorado. Jason Starcher of Starcher Construction came in and took care of the window for us. Debbie also now has a usable walk-in shower, which Dave's team helped accomplish, not expecting any type of publicity. She's a human and she needed help. That was it. Dave was um, my guardian angel. Debbie, let's just say, never expected this. I don't know how to say thank you enough. I mean, the words just, it's just not strong enough. It just isn't, you know. Um, there's a little sign I have in the bathroom that said best seat in the house. On the back of that, I had the contractors sign the back of it. That way I always, always have something to remember all of them by. And while there will always be con artists in this world, the number of good contractors out there certainly outweigh the bad.
And this is a list of everyone who either donated materials or labor to get this job done. After everything was said and done, about $20,000 went into this project for Debbie and her husband. And now I wanted to take just a couple of seconds to bring up some helpful tips before hiring any contractor. The first is to check with your local regional building office and make sure the contractor has a valid license. Also, be sure to ask for their proof of insurance. And it never hurts to ask for local references and follow up with those folks. As always, if you have a problem or issue you'd like our News 5 Investigates team to look into, call our tip line anytime at 719-228-6275 or send an email to news5investigates at koaa.com. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. I'm Eric Ross, News 5 Investigates.